Tyrant here. I just finished watching the, one of the latest episodes of Knights and Magic. And once again, um, I haven't really done... I've only done episode one reaction to it. Because, uh, well, I stockpiled a couple episodes and... Hmm, I don't know. I could have done ep the last episode where they stole the mech, but... The feeling of the show is kind of, it has a strange pacing, um, and it's, maybe it's not for the general audience, audience, I would say, but it's keeping me intrigued because it's been a while since I've seen a mech style anime, and I'm really happy that this show has delivered a, a different viewpoint of what I was hoping for um, the way I see this show going is not where I thought it was gonna head to uh, I kept thinking there was gonna be like amazing met back mech battles here and there and you you see them here and there but not as much as I thought it's more about the process and development of these robots and the passion he has for him that's what I've been enjoying and maybe because I've enjoyed them to a point that I haven't really expressed them every time I've seen an episode and maybe because I just kept binge one binge two and just enjoyed every episode I was not able to fully translate that but I was able to do it for this episode one for it's it I wanted to do last episode but I don't know it just didn't feel right because that's the episode where the even though the mech was stolen he was able to present uh, one of the other mechs and the king was gave him basically his own order and he's the commander and that was amazing so seeing what happens in the aftermath uh, now they're building new mechs and what's great about this episode was the continuation of building new mechs because there's in the midst in the middle of the scene you get uh, you get this you know there's this all this political stuff happening in the background and it's in your face it's not in the background that's what makes this show a little bit different you're just getting all this other information uh, then you get back to him and doing his passion projects and uh, you also get to see this uh, one of these uh, what is it his the king's kind of team kind of like his main team of mechanics not mechanics uh, engineers I'll say engineers and their development of what they brought their prototype in it using that as a base and improving upon it uh, and with that there's a 10 month gap which is was really good when I thought I heard oh yes the king sent a message we're gonna do a battle a um, what's the word a mock battle a mock battle in 10 months like oh yay that's that'll be cool Mac, a mock battle I wonder how long that's gonna be how many episodes but nope it's gonna happen next episode I thought I was hoping this episode but nope next episode but you know what was great is when they were building in all this oh yes uh, he keeps having dreams of all these uh, mechs he wants to build from boxes from his time of old and and then just being able to create something creating a two person mech so like yes you know things like that that things like that are what makes uh, this he's bringing new ideas to the world and it's this is what makes this show amazing to where you get at the end the what what what's weird is the whole episode is kind of like a little bit of a tease because it's bringing you to the end and it's a cliffhanger and the ending of this one ooh, now i gotta see next week ooh, um you get to see uh the what the engineers from the king's uh research development company development uh sector does as they do a gen i'm not gonna say generic but they do a baseline of kind of a um um what's the word 
kind of a conveyor belt style of development. Like, oh, these are going to be the mass produce. There it is, the mass produce uh, mechs. Uh, but then they're like, oh, everyone's impressed. You know, they changed up here and there. It has 30 more percent of power. It uses less energy. Like, oh, yeah, that's what you want when developing new technology. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, or not out of nowhere, well, kind of out of nowhere to them, um, the uh, the Silver Phoenix order, boom! Here are the new mechs, man. You get the uh, Centaur-style looking thing. Like, oh, like where did these guys come from? It's like it's it's from improving current technology to reimagining, reimagining to ah, like basically reinventing technology to be better and more intriguing and that's what's right now oh, i just can't wait to see what happens in the next episode oh but those are my thoughts I, it's a little longer than normal because i kind of had to catch up um I, well I, I didn't catch up with everything um there's a lot that happened from episode one to here because there's a long space but oh i'm gonna try to st gotta keep up with uh nighty magic because it's really really good um it's it's m more different than what I'm currently watching in a couple other shows and oh so so until the next until next week's mock battle you know yes it's gonna be amazing I'm hoping it's, it has to be it's, it's, all the mech battles have been amazing lately so once again uh, thank you for watching until next time mm -hmm.